cool. So I'm gonna show you how to install eCrypt or make it work. Cause a lot of people issues have npm install eCrypt. So now it should build. Cool, eCrypt built. Um, another way around it is um, bcrypt js. That's where it built. You don't have to build it. So a lot of people are having issues with that because of the node gype. So I'm gonna also npm install globally node gype. You should do that too globally. Cool. Now I have gype installed. Gype has request, signature, HTTP, tweet, NAC, and all that. These are the things. Clear. Um, this is Windows 10. So let's find this tutorial. I found that at Server Pals. Um, let's go over to what you got to install for Windows 10. You have to install the Visual Studio Express on PC. So these are the, you got to do this. You got to install Git, Node, Python. Visual Studios, Intel Entertain Community Edition. You need the NPM stuff, and you gotta put your environment variables to this. Yeah, I'm gonna skip all that stuff, but just install Node normally. Don't worry about this. I already know that. I'm gonna skip all this so my version is faster. Skippy, skip, skip it. Yes, I wanna learn how to Okay. So I'll get all the prompts. That one. That one. All right. Next, we install Visual Studios. This thing. Click custom. And then install this package: Visual Plus Plus, C Plus Plus, Python tools, and more software developer tools. Done. You don't need that. You don't need that. Now you do path. I don't know why you did this version. So you go, you type in path in here. Sorry, I'm gonna do it again really slow. So, path and environment variables built here. Click path, edit, and you create new line. So, yeah. Am I missing something? I'm a Python here. That's very important. So, if I open another terminal, I can just do a REPL on Python. See how REPL for Python, so let's hit print. Hello. Cool. And then control C out the REPL. So I'll do a REPL for Python now. So I can run Python 2.7 apps, which is pretty cool. Um, next, you should install MongoDB. MongoDB, so you go downloads, download, download the Windows version, MSI. Once you download it, install it, go to C drive, go to your C drive, and create two folders. It'll be data, DB, in your C drive. And next, you go back into your path. Sorry, I was trying to show you step by step. You go edit path, edit, and you look for this MongoDB server. So you go C, not here, folder, you go to copy this entire string, and you create, uh, you go a new, and you can paste the string in. So you can add more environment variables that way, which is pretty cool. Let's look up some more stuff. Python, Python, path, that's pretty cool. That's fine. And I have Windows Studio 11 as one. So I already proved I can build it. So, all right. So we have Mongod. Show collection. 
collection, the user, the DB, users, line, and my password is hashed. So that means the decrypt has been installed. And I'm going to install right now Docs. npm install express mesh generator. Because I want to scaffold um, express app. So it would be npm install express dash generator. installing it cool we got generated installed so ls we have all this let's go to my documents ls there's nothing in there i can uh i think i just thought of it all right let's make a directory oh we don't have to we'll be express install to app example Salad. I want um, SAS for my CSS, and I want for my Tensor Theme engine. I want my view engine. generated so there's the errors over here so I'm gonna have some sass yeah it has sass so here's sass so I gotta install that Shell shift T, install package, call it SAS. Still installing the bottom. SAS is installed. Now we have SAS highlighting. Great. And I'm going to have to highlight the SAS. So, so we have SAS middleware. So we can use SAS. Alright, cool. So let's um, also npm install Nodimon. show something really cool because um basically this has a start already you can just type in notamon what oops npm install So 
localhost 3000, I believe. Localhost 3000, no, Express. Welcome to Express. Let's put this on the side. Let's put this on the side too, so we have both visions of it. Yeah, so that's how you get DAS working. And then the middleware is right here. This snippet of code right here is um, for the SAS. No DAS middleware. So I got a SAS made. And it'll automatically compile. And this is a SAS map. So which is pretty cool. So you could just use, like, you could import all your SAS into this one. So this can be a giant, you know, whole separate folder with your SAS. And you can just import all your SAS into here, and it'll compile to this guy automatically with the middleware for this line of code right here. So it's pretty cool. So what else can you do with the generator, express generator? So you have help. You have engine support. Handlebars, Pug, Hogan, and then for CSS is flag C. You also put a git ignore, but you can just type in support and kill this guy. Yep. So we can do touch dot git ignore, and it'll generate git ignore. It doesn't matter, and you can ignore like certain files like. Uh, Modules. Cause like if everyone has a different like node version on their system, they're not gonna be able to run this um, bin WW bin. So we gotta always like delete this. I'll just delete it. I'll show you how to do it. So you go in, you go to rm dash rf node modules. That's deleted. You npm install again. And then the app should work if you like clone it from like GitHub or something. So I taught you a lot of things today. Yeah, this is what I want to show you. This tutorial is not that great. Just me playing around with um, pen and scaffolding a simple app. So that's your tab indentation, the width, you can change it. Two will be matching the SAS. So this is EJS, um, Trash IP.
instructional programming. JS. Yeah, title. Useful error messages. And this is the public HTML. Uh, it can actually host, like, this folder. You can public stat publish static files. This is my route. Alright, let's create a bullcrap new page. So, just for the sake of it, let's create a get route. This guy's always getting posts. Let's call this guy home page. And let's call this page home. Title is home. And we're going to create a new page file name called home.ejs. Cool. And yeah. Actually, we can just um, change the HTML because it's you know. Oh, I thought you can end it. Oop! Now I have to end it. Home page. So this basically um, creates a templating for everything. So it has Morgan, which shows all this stuff. The Morgan. It has two routes. There's a better way to do this. a get response so this is a web page get response get response parsers json body parser so this makes your life so much easier because like it scaffolds everything for you you can put your images here your javascript in this folder and your images so express generator is really really awesome so what's this tutorial again how to install the node guide. Okay, we're done with that. So the next thing I'm just gonna find out.